Now, if we're looking at this for the anaerobic and trying to effectively use interval training to develop anaerobic fitness, we can do the same thing. Okay, we can go back and look at what fits into the criteria we know that you need to develop anaerobic fitness with. So, very easy, intensities. Well, we know to have any type of anaerobic benefit, it must be between 90 to 100% of your max heart rate. So the only figure that falls into that is a 95% max heart rate. So put that down, that's a definite answer. So there is one mark automatically. Um, the next thing we're looking at there is you could then look at your work times. Now, looking at your work times, you know it will not be your 20 minutes, your 15 to 20 minutes, and more than likely not your three to five minutes, okay? We did speak before about how anaerobically you wouldn't be using 10 to 30 seconds because this would be too short of a time and we'll be looking at your sprints. So it could be 10 to 30 seconds or it could be 60 to 90, okay? So we'll put down 10 to 30. 60 to 90. Um, again, we can't look just at the repetitions just yet, so we're going to look now at the work recovery ratio. Now, we all know that it's definitely for anaerobic benefit. The ratio should be if you're working for one period of time, you should be resting for four times that period of time. So, i.e., if you're working or spending for 10 seconds, you should rest for four times the 10, which is 40 seconds. So, the ratio for anaerobic is always one to four. So one to four. So let's go back and look at what we know. So if we're looking at our, our repetitions and our working for this, if we were to use the 10 to 30 seconds, let's use the 30 seconds as, as the max. So we must make sure we're working 30 seconds as the max. How many repetitions would that be? So if we're looking at our repetitions, we can see here that... Um, you can obviously work performance once and no reps. Well, that's obviously not what it is because we know with anaerobic you need to have a recovery, so this wouldn't be correct. Um, we know you can work from three to five reps. could be ideal um, because obviously, just depending on how much recovery you get, we need to look at this, okay? So if it was three to five reps you're working and you were working, obviously, 30 seconds, five thirties, so five thirties is two minutes, 30 seconds. So if you're working for 2 minutes 30 seconds, you need to have 4 2 minutes 30 seconds recovery. 2 and a half minutes recovery. So 4 2 and a halves, well you can work that out quite easy, it's 10 minutes. So 4 2 and a halves, 2 2 and a halves is obviously 5 minutes, so 4 2 and a halves is 10 minutes. So what gives you there? It gives you 10 minutes recovery. You can see there everything there gives you 10 minutes recovery. So obviously we're working on the sets there to make it anaerobic benefit. So let's go down and look. Well, it wouldn't be five sets. That gives you far too much rest. Again, four sets is too much rest. Three sets too much rest. It could be two sets or it could be one set. Looking at this for anaerobic benefit, I would say two sets. So two sets, three to five reps. Now, that's a definite answer there. So if we go back and double check our working out, um, performance, 8 to 10 repetitions, well, 10, 30 seconds, but well, we can all work that out. Um, looking at the recovery time, again, 4 to 1. There's not enough recovery time given in these sets. So if there's not enough recovery time in 8 to 10, there's definitely not going to be enough recovery time from 13 to 20, or obviously at 20 repetitions. So your repetitions must be 3 to 5. And I'll explain that again. Because if your work time is only max up to 30 seconds, and your next working out, sorry, is or your next work time is 30 to 90, 60 to 90, you can see with only this recovery time or set time given in between, it cannot be 60 to 90. Okay, it cannot be that. So it must be 10 to 30 seconds, it must be 3 to 4 reps, and it must be 1 to 4 and 95.